Guys, fight commentary breakdowns, exclusive footage from Tsilala. Tsilala is taking on a really big guy in a sparring session. So, Tsilala versus big guy, Wing Chun versus big guy. One thing I noticed immediately, Rob, is that Tsilala is pretty good at keeping distance. Mm -hmm. He's like, big guy is big, so I am getting beyond his striking range. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he knows how to shell up when he needs to. Ah, uh, makes sense. Makes sense. It's funny because the way Silala's holding his hands, he's almost like baiting the big guy to punch there instead yeah. of like punch my face, punch my hands. Well, Silala is really good at parrying. Uh huh. He, you know, he's he's not just doing the traditional sort of like he's not just holding it there. Ah, uh, makes you sense. Know, like I think I've seen a lot of people just sort of hold it there and then they get lit up. Yeah, exactly. He he's incorporated a lot of parrying. As makes well. sense. Makes sense. So guys, if you want to see Wing Chun kind of use in a practical manner, we see a lot. Look at how he's constantly fluid. He's not just like Rob said, just holding a tonsil there or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the big guy's also getting gassed, which is a good technique when fighting big guys who are not kind of trained in fighting. It's just to let them gas. Mm -hmm. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. He was testing him here. He wanted to see how, how much he would press. You yeah, know? yeah. How long he would keep going. Exactly. So I'm going to turn the volume down. The The people are cheering on the big guy. Lots of good kind of like um, Chinese motivation. Mm -hmm. So This is the first time that he's sort of uh, focused on his base. Yeah, exactly. And earlier he was very had a very light base and he was very easily uh, able to be caught off balance. Yeah, exactly. So something happened to the file. Hey, what happened to the file? I don't know what happened to the file, guys, but um, the file got corrupted. It's more of the same. I guess it's more of the same. Yeah, exactly. But basically, um, I think the most important thing is, and Chilala, I encourage you to upload this on your channel so people can watch the rest of it. But look at how, look at this. See, Chilala is always outside of the range of his, like, strikes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the most important thing. You don't want to get lit even once by a guy this big. Yeah. And then um, the other thing Rob mentioned is, um, look at how the guy kind of is very top-heavy. So he, he can easily be swept. Yeah, this this a lot of times when somebody is not necessarily familiar with fighting, what they'll try and do is they'll try and get up and over the top of their opponent. They'll mm -hmm. try and try and use his height as much as they possibly can to mm -hmm. strike down at their opponent. Yeah, and they're also trying to get out of the range of getting punched in the face. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, if this fighter wanted to be a little bit more stable uh, structurally, he would have. Uh, widened his base and not have been so easy to topple yeah and what i look at how chilala steps we've commended him on this before but he never just goes straight backwards look at him angling out you see yeah. that i love it yeah. i love it so he never gets forced into a corner or forced to be mm -hmm. defending while going backwards mm -hmm. so that's yeah. one thing that chilala does very well he's got a very active stance mm -hmm. even though he's uh, like even though i would not have crossed my legs there as mm -hmm. going backwards he's he's Obviously, he's very much aware of what his opponent is capable of doing. Yeah. He knows he's going to be able to scramble out of there if he needs to. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And like you said, Chilala is very good at pairing. Like, look at him pairing. And that, mm. that comes from the Wing Chun, like applying the Wing Chun correctly. Mm. And I think part of the reason why he's able to pair well is he gauges range correctly. Yeah. If you're within the guy's hook or within the guy's jab range, it's very hard to parry. It's very yeah. easy for him to get to you. But since the guy's kind of overextending to get to you, mm -hmm. it's easy for you to parry. Mm -hmm. So this is very interesting. And guys, um, we will end it here because the garbage truck is here outside. It's going <laughs> to interfere with the sound. But this was another great video courtesy of Tsilala. Go follow him. You know, he's in a way making Wing Chun great again. And the garbage truck is um, really loud right now. <laughs> we have a garbage truck designated to every single trash can on our block. Yeah, so literally for like two hours we hear garbage trucks. <laughs> Beautiful Santa Monica. That's You're using our tax money. <laughs> so, damn. You see a lot of Wing Chun techniques. Like, oh, you guys are like, where do, where's the Wing Chun? And see, la, la, well, they, they, look at this. This is all like Wing Chun technique right there. Yeah. Right? So there's a lot of Wing Chun technique. And you see it more when he's fighting people that, that he's, you know, he knows he, he's got an edge on. Like, this is a very classic. It would be really interesting to see uh, this bigger guy. Mm -hmm. I would love to see what he could do with, like, maybe a month or two of training. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. Like, if somebody was like, hey, let's just focus on your... Um, footwork for a while. Yeah. Let's, let's spend like three weeks on your footwork and then let's get you like three combos. Yeah. And we're just yeah. going to work on those three combos. Uh, I think that would be really interesting to see a, like a, a rematch in sparring. Agreed. Agreed. Because like 
this spot, look at how off balance Silala was, right? Like mm-hmm. this is a spot that if he had better combos, he probably would have caught Silala. I mean, as as <laughs> awkward as it is, you can tell the guy's a little athletic. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like the guy's a big dude, and he's kind of moving like a middle a middleweight exactly. Know? And if if he had appropriate training, you never know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Also, shout out to CTBJJ. It's awesome that you guys allow this type of sparring to happen. There's very light, controlled, respectful sparring. So I like this kind of stuff. That's why we're featuring it. One thing I can't stress enough is that you really cannot judge a book by its cover. Yeah, exactly. When it comes to fighting, you just never know who's capable yeah. until you grab them. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it becomes very apparent. Yeah. I mean, Chilala, normally, he has like glasses and he's a chef. Like, you would never know that he can fight. Same right. thing with the big guy. He seems like just one of those, like, big guys who, like, you know, he, he's just... In, in Chinese culture, there's this, like, kind of negative association with people that are his size. They, they often associate them with having a little bit of, like, IQ problems. Mm. It's a weird Chinese trope. But, like, you know, then you see this guy. This guy can move faster than me, Jerry. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big guys... Uh... Big guys have a place. Yeah, big guys have a place. Guys, fight commentary breakdowns. Super great little breakdown. Super great little video. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.